If you'd like to see how I'm going to add rhinestones and silver glitter to this plain bottle of wine, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today in this video, I am going to be adding some of this holographic glitter to this wine bottle. This is called Carlo Rossi and it's a raspberry sangria. Okay, so I use art glitter just one time and I wanted to see how this glitter seals. So today I'm not gonna be using the Mod Podge sealant spray. I'm gonna see how this glitter seals because um, I paid about $16 from this. Their website is called artglitter.com. I guess the glitter is also called designer and it dries clear. So I'm just curious as to how that's going to seal. And as an alternative, as an alternative to Mod Podge, because I'm starting to realize everyone does not have access to Mod Podge. I'm gonna use this little cheap clear glue. It's by Craze Art. I didn't have any Elmer, so I'm just gonna use what I have. Um, this is something that um, the kids use for slime. So we're gonna see how this is gonna make the glitter adhere to the bottle. I've already wiped the bottle off with alcohol, cleaned that off, so we can go ahead and get right into it. I have this little sponge brush that I'm going to be using. You can just use um, any glitter that you like to. There are different levels of glitter. This is not the $100 glitter. Like there are some polyester glitters I have saw online that could be as high as $100. This is like, um, this is just regular craft glitter. This is from papermart.com and it's not extra fine, it's fine. But it's still nice. Extra fine is like even more smaller grains than this. But I've been using this and um, I haven't had any issues So with this it. is something that would be really nice as a gift to someone, you know, for a birthday, housewarming gift, or whatever you want it to be. Okay, so I do like to start from the bottom. This is nice and thick. So this is my first time using this type of glue, so we'll see how this goes. But I do like to start at the bottom of where the label is. I don't mask off the label. You can do that if you like to. I just try to keep my hand nice and straight and do it like that. But if you feel like you want to mask it off and all of that, feel free. Okay, so we're just going to put a hefty amount of glitter onto this bottle. I like to hold it like this. What's the last one? Oh, why are you focus on that? Come on. I like to keep an old extra makeup brush for this reason when I'm using glitter just so you can just dust off any excess so you'll see where you don't need to or where you do need to add more glitter. Okay so far that's a really decent hold. Okay I don't feel like it's any like wet. Sometimes after you dust it off it just still feels wet and the glue and the glitter is like kind of like smudging. This is um this is pretty decent so far. I was gonna go with the pink glitter, but I just did a pink one. So I want to do something different. So I'm just getting to know this glitter. I mean, I'm just getting to know this glue. This is my first time using a glue from the dollar store on any of my crafts. I've never used a cheap glue like this before, so I think this is remarkable. If this does turn out to be, um, if this does turn out to like really work, that is amazing because when I go back to the Dollar Tree, I'll pick up about five of these just to have them. I mean, I'm not, my podge is not that expensive, but it's more expensive than a dollar. I think for a big thing of my podge, 
it's probably you know what it's probably about eight bucks so for this size of my pie it'll probably be about eight to ten dollars so if this works just as good i don't know about stealing the glue though you know what i should try that i should try that i don't know though i don't know how this would seal so i don't i'll try to seal the glitter with a smaller project with this I'll use it to get it on the bottle, but as far as sealing it to make it stay, I just don't trust it. But that would be a good idea. But I like this. It has a nice thickness to it. It doesn't feel watery. Okay, so just go ahead and continue to add your glue nice and neatly around the labels and pour hefty amounts of the glitter until you have the whole bottle covered. I'm back with this is the first coat of glitter and it has been dried and I was just going over this like this I noticed there's quite a bit of fall off just for me doing like this so this little um, craze art glue I'm not gonna continue on with this I'm gonna go ahead and lay my second layer with the real glue that I know works well because I don't want this to be a complete fail so don't go with this Next time, I'm going to get some Elmer's glue and see how that works. But this craze art is a no-no. So, because look at this. It shouldn't flake off with this soft little brush. And I let this dry in front of the um, floor air blower. Um, well, this one is holding pretty well right here. And right here. But for some reason right here, it's just coming off a little too easy. And up here. But I don't want to continue with that. But it still can be a possible um, Mod Podge dupe, I guess. But I'm just going to roll with the art glitter for now. Because I want to make sure it's right. So I'm just going to pour some of this into my little lid here. Okay, so it is the next day, and this is um, fully dried. This is two um, layers of the glitter, and I'm just dusting any of the glitter that's not going to actually stick and stay, just to see what's left here. And I think the original layer of glitter that I did with the uh, dollar store glue um was just a complete fail altogether because i can see that usually when i do this dusting not this much comes down off down to the bottle like that so i definitely wouldn't do that again i'm not going to completely rule out the clear glitter um what i'll do is make sure that it's at least elmer's so i don't even think i'm going to seal this 
because of how much is coming off, some spots are hanging in there a little stronger. But I feel like if I keep brushing, it'll just keep coming off and it shouldn't do that. So at least I know you can't use that super cheap, cheap glue. I'm just still looking for other alternatives to use instead of Mod Podge for people who may not want to pay for Mod Podge or people who just don't have access to Mod Podge. Like I think over in the UK or Canada somewhere, someone told me in my comment section that they can't get a hold of it. So what I'm going to do, yeah, I don't wanna seal it if it's spotty like that. I'm just going to patch on a little bit more of this and just fill in those little spots and Um, for that little extra part I had to patch up to dry before I seal the, the glitter on this bottle. I want to add something here because this doesn't have to come off in order for the bottle to be opened. Oh. It doesn't have to come off for it to be opened. So I have some of this little uh, dollar store necklace, um, I guess like a Mardi Gras bead. I have that and I had an idea, it's kind of the same color. I just thought that would be cute just to, just to see how that looks. Instead of using some rhinestones or pearls. I mean, because everyone doesn't want to bother. And I just have these little glue sticks that I picked up from Walmart. I, they say super bonder. And they're the full size kind for the full size um, hot glue gun. So what I'm going to do is use hot glue and a little bit of E6000. Now I don't really use E6000 when I'm doing long term um, projects that take quite a bit of time because I hate the way E6000 smells. But my liquid fusion is kind of uh, expensive. And if I'm just trying something out, I don't want to just use it just because. So this is about $3 liquid versus. fusion. This is what I use when I'm um, applying rhinestones. If you're a subscriber or if you saw my other videos, you know I like to use this. This is 12 bucks. 12 bucks. This is almost empty, but yeah, 12 bucks versus like 297 or three or four bucks at the most. So I'm just gonna use this for this quick little area. So what I'm going to do is cut this. The reason why I'm going to use the, the glue, the, um, the hot glue, because this is like a quick hold, and this is temporary. I wouldn't embellish anything using hot glue. If you do, it's not gonna last. This is so you can adhere it to where it holds right on the spot but you still want to secure it with the E6000 so that cures. So I don't know how this is going to look. Hopefully it doesn't look like super cheesy. Um, but we're going to find out. I just thought the color looked nice and I like the shine of these little um, Mardi Gras looking beads. So first, I'm going to apply the E6000 on here, a generous amount. I'm just gonna go around in a circle. Mm, quite a bit coming out. Then I'm also going to, uh oh, I might have put a little bit too much. But it's like an instant hold when you use the hot glue. Okay, you guys, so this part is completely optional. You don't have to add anything in this area or you can just go ahead and put some glitter there. I ended up not being too crazy about this look, so I ended up changing it. Okay, so I've added this little Mardi Gras um, bead to the top of this. And it was a little messy trying to add the hot glue and this. 
I think this is one of those things that when you see it from a distance, you're like, oh, that looks nice. When you get up close and you can but see the actual imperfections, it's like, um, no. No. So it's definitely a no for me. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. It's like it's on here pretty good though. But this is a nice alternative if you don't have any rhinestones or if you just wanna do something like this. I've seen people do stuff like this and be okay with it, each to its own. But um, yeah, this has to go. There is the issue and then it's like the hot glue gets kind of clumpy. It's like glazy looking. Unless I was to fill it in with some bigger gems. I just still think it's not like a good permanent. Yeah, I just don't like it. No thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off and then see what's next. Okay, before I take this off, I'm just gonna go ahead. The bottle's pretty dry now. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this glitter with the art designer art glitter okay so i'm just adding the final coat of glue the art glitter glue that i'm going to seal this glitter with i figured because it's called art glitter glue that it should be amazing with glitter and i couldn't find any videos of people using it this way so i figure i'll give it a try and right here ah uh, i'm showing you how I'm getting off this E6000 and this hot glue off of here so I could do something better to this area. So to get off some of that glue residue off of here, I had to scrape it with a, um, I had to scrape this with some sandpaper to get all that glue and hot glue off of there because it was just looking so terrible. Rhinestones so. to cover this area. The color of these rhinestones are super, super pretty. They're called a uh, light seam. They're five millimeter and I will have a link available so they can be purchased. Here is the final result of this wine bottle. I think it does look nice and full. Since I did go ahead and use the second layer of glitter with the art glitter designer glue because like i told you that craze art just wasn't the best but i think it turned out really pretty it looks nice and thick i think it still has some nice sparkle to it you guys let me know what you think would you like to try to use this art glitter glue or would you like to try to stick with the mod podge or do you want to give the craze art a try but i did go ahead and add some light seam or Siam, like a light reddish color, AB rhinestone. And I think it gave it a perfect touch. It just needed something else. And I'm so glad I decided to use this color. It matches with the decor of the bottle. So this was like super cute. And of course this will always make a great gift for any occasion. Thanks you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it on Facebook if you'd like to. And subscribe if you want. If not, thanks for stopping by. I hope you received some great inspiration or some cute gift ideas. Thanks again. Bye-bye.